The only power here comes from batteries. A glimmer of hope was raised when solar power system was installed. It was short-lived, leaving the villagers powerless and in the dark in every sense. They see this as a betrayal by the local government. So this is what commit. We called our ward committee and told him we want electricity. The municipality has failed with the solar initiative because they don't even maintain them. We never wanted solar power. We wanted grid electricity. Since we started voting, government has not done anything for us. Solar power did not improve our lives. Government does not assist us with paraffin. We live in the dark. The community says lack of electricity is also impacting on their children's future. We can't even cook with solar power. We want electricity because our children are uninspired. They can't access the new technology and there is a high unemployment rate. Using candles is very dangerous and we have lost lives and homes bent to the ground. The municipality says Sibane residents refuse to have the solar panels fixed while they are working on delivering electricity. The community of Sibane rejected or refused to accept that offer of maintenance of the solar panels. Instead, they said they will wait for the installation of the electricity for the area, not the maintenance of the solar. For as a result, as we speak, the community of Sigitu are maintaining their solar uh, as the municipality and their solar will work going forward. Is this a disabling of Ningoku? We had to beg the municipality to fix these solar panels. They don't maintain them. You can't do much with solar power. It's just for one light bulb and charging phones. You can't do anything beside that. The municipality says it is difficult to get the infrastructure to the deep rural areas due to bad access roads. Last week we had a meeting with the office of the premier in order to address the issue of access road to the area because as com complained about the access to the area, so their trucks and also their delivery material will not be placed that area until the road has been expanded. And the office of the premier promised to give us a funding on a three-year phases so that we are able to start uh, fixing that road. It's whereby after we have fixed that access road, whereby as com will go to the area and do the design. This community gets by with prefab school with pit latrines. They feel the benefits of democracy have not reached them. Rwandi Lembulali, Dugua in the Eastern Cape.